see you have dragged your physical bodies here. <laughs> That's the format you're in, isn't it? You are in the leading edge, manifesting mode. You're here in this time-space reality, focused in these magnificent bodies, in this magnificent environment. With a very clear intention, as you came into your body, of being on the leading edge, not the catching up edge, not the proving worthiness edge, not the finally getting it right edge, not the saving planet Earth edge, not the fixing things that are broken edge, the leading edge of new creating. You chose well, a perfect environment with so much basis already established. And you knew you would come into your body, a part of your consciousness, not all of it, not even most of it, some of the consciousness that is you focused into this personality that you know as you. On the leading edge, in perfect, balanced diversity, knowing that as you focused here through your personal, importantly personal format, that you would come to your own importantly personal desires. Not desires that were pointed out by others. This is the list of what human is, and these are the requirements. Oh, there are plenty who try to shove those down your throat. But you came knowing that that basis would be good in order to help you come to your personal conclusions, your personal preferences, your personal desires. And you knew, especially early on, that as those desires formulated within you, and they do all day long, all day long, all day long, all day long, every day, that as those personal desires formulate within you, that the energy that creates worlds would back you up in the full fruition of them, the full creation of them, the full manifestation of them, the full see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it, leading edginess of your ideas. And you knew then, and we want to remind you now, you knew you would never get it done because you are eternal. And you knew that you cannot get it wrong because you are standing always on your path with guidance flowing to you to assist you in discovering the path of least resistance, although sometimes you choose the path of more resistance, the path of least resistance toward allowing all of you to experience the unfolding of the ideas that you have decided. Now we emphasized for Esther and she found perfect terminology for you that all of you is intending to stand in your now time-space reality in full awareness of where you stand in relationship to all of the things that you want. Not because it's important for you to immediately move right to the full culmination of everything that you want. No, 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 no. That would be so overwhelming. That would be like eating all of the food for the rest of your life today. If you're ever going to do it, this would be the place, but don't try it. <laughs> don't try it. You want to explore and decide and come into alignment with. Hello. <laughs> this is infinite intelligence. Whatever it is you want, we've got. <laughs> but you have to be in the receptive mode. You were in the receptive mode. You're also in big trouble. 
so since you are on the leading edge and because you are an extension of source energy this life causes you to identify in tremendous refined detail aspects that you prefer and every time you carve one of those out and you do all day every day every time you carve one of those out what happens is you launch a rocket of desire another piece of who you have become is added to the mix of who you are and the vibrational evolution of you happens in that moment now we are emphasizing that the vibrational evolution of you happens because that's happening all the time you're sifting and sorting through life experiences and you are becoming more and more and more and more what this seminar wants to address is how much of that more that you have become and are becoming are you allowing yourself to be because you've become more than you are allowing yourself to be which is evidenced by every particle of negative emotion that you feel your emotions indicate how much you are in the receptive mode or how much you are in the allowing mode or these all mean the same thing or how much you are in the receiving mode how much you are on the path of least resistance how close to vibrational sync you are with all that you've really become and that matters it matters so much because oh you might not know this we want you to know this we want you to know this this is the thing we want you to know more than all other things put together you must know this it is important that you understand your level of resistance because what you are resisting is your alignment you're receiving of the perspective of that larger part of you who is here right now with you focused upon whatever you're focused upon right here right now right here right now with you no matter what the now is no matter where the now is no matter what the conditions of the now are source energy the source within you that larger part of you has a very clear awareness and opinion of whatever it is wherever it is and how you feel is your clear indication of how in sync you are with that perspective for example if you are really really angry at someone and you feel that anger that discouragement that discomfort that can only be described by negative emotion that means that you're off kilter from the perspective of your inner being about it and when Esther began to realize that she would say to us frequently really frequently Abraham clearly you need more information about this your opinion is distorted under these conditions and we gradually over a period of about 30 years explained to her <laughs> that we are unconditional in our love of that one which in the beginning especially Esther found ridiculous what's the point of having an opinion if you cannot notice the disturbing dysfunction of others <laughs> and we explained to Esther that that's not the relationship that she's really wanting to make her top priority it's the relationship between her now perspective and the perspective of her inner being because the perspective of her inner being is long term it's eternal it is widescreen it is deep and broad it has been happening for a long time and it is accurate and it considers everything and most important of all you'll hear a lot of this phrase it is the path of least resistance because you cannot get crossways of who you really are without blocking pretty strong word and we mean it your reception to all that you've become so when you're angry or when you're depressed or when you're discouraged or when you're fearful or any of those negative emotions in varying degrees you are disallowing it's like saying to the universe I've decided to discount to discard to set aside all life experience and oh we can't even begin to explain to you the life experience that you have gathered 
and the evolution that you've become. I've decided in this moment of very clear anger about this to disregard all that I've become and start over new in this moment. And that's why you feel insecure. That's why you feel vulnerable. That's why you feel fearful because you are disallowing the resources, the resources of source. You are disallowing the energy that creates worlds. You are disallowing your reception to that, which means you don't have good timing. You don't have clarity. You don't have good feeling words. You don't have good sounding words. You don't have good results from whatever it is you set into motion right here and now. In other words, you are disregarding all that you've become in order to justify your rightness in your opinion that clearly your inner being does not share. And the reason that you do it is because you've spent your whole life comparing your opinion to the opinions of others. How's that working out? <laughs> Have you come to one political agreement? Have you come to one philosophical agreement? Have you come to a religious agreement? Have you come to a sexuality agreement? Have you come to the way you dress agreement? Have you come to any agreements? Have you gotten everybody to agree with you? Has anybody gotten everybody to agree? Why don't you give that up? <laughs> that futile attempt, that flawed premise, that misguided effort to justify your goodness, your rightness, when all along you have source energy right there, not asking for justification, just knowing your value and knowing your power and knowing your goodness and knowing your rightness and knowing your worthiness and holding you in full view of that, rooting for your most delicious unfolding in this moment in time, which you are squandering with your determination to be right rather than in alignment. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> you cannot be right unless you're in alignment. No other measurement, no other agreement, no other vote matters. It's only that alignment. Perhaps as we are moving forward in these delicious days that we have together, you will come to a full personal realization. Oh, that's the operative word realization. It's not a revelation that we are asking you to reach for because all of this is constantly being revealed to you. Source is revealing. It's knowing of where you stand in every moment in time in relationship to all that you want and all that you've become. The revelation is happening. The question is, are you in the receptive mode? So it's the realization that we want you to teach yourself to discover the realization of the power, the perfection, the deliciousness of each moment in time. You're going to discover the freedom that only comes when you detach yourself from conditions, better said, from your opinion of the conditions, while you align yourself with your pure desire and your pure desire. This is the most interesting thing about your desire, your desire that you hold in many cases as future tense. We regard as present tense because it has already come into actualization in this vibrational place that we've been calling your vortex. This vibrational reality already exists. So it's not future tense, it's present tense, but you got to tune to it. You got to tune to the present tenseness of it in order to be in the realizing receptive mode so that you can experience the transformation of it from. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.